Here we go again. Once again, the media is proving me right by running to the defense of another Democrat, this time career politician Elijah Cummings. Over the weekend, Trump sent the Democrat media into convulsions with his Twitter post criticizing Cummings for the horrendous conditions in Baltimore, saying, quote, Rep. Elijah Cummings has been a brutal bully, shouting and screaming at the great men and women of Border Patrol about conditions at the southern border, when actually his Baltimore district is far worse and more dangerous. His his district is considered the worst in the USA. As proven last week during the congressional tour, the border is clean, efficient, and well run. Just very crowded. Cummings district is a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess. If he spent more time in Baltimore, maybe he could help clean up this very dangerous and filthy place. Before we continue, let's just take a quick moment to thank this channel sponsor, RibT.com. Guys, if you're used to buying your daily wear in a 10 pack plastic bag, then perhaps you should consider upgrading to RibT's signature cool nylon silk underwear and t-shirts with friendly stretch fabric that keeps you feeling dry and comfortable all day long. Besides the high quality and comfort, you're buying from an American company who actively supports free speech right here on YouTube. If you would like me to give your channel or website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribt.com forward slash drone tech and use the promo code drone tech. Send me proof of purchase and I'll give you a shout out just like the one I'm about to give Sosa Potence 300. This is a movie review channel where the creator has the ability to get movie tickets early and review them before most people have a chance to see them. He also plans on doing political videos in the future to advance our cause. Head on over to his channel and hit that subscribe button. Thanks. As usual, the media has leapt to the defense of this Democrat and is actively helping to cover up these horrendous conditions that have been allowed to fester under Cummings leadership for 22 years now. Baltimore currently has the second highest murder rate in the country, so when you think about it, the media is actually putting people in harm's way by covering this up in defense of another Democrat. Not only that, but they're making the completely insane leap of logic that calling a city rat infested is the same thing as calling black and brown people an infestation. Infested. That's usually reserved for references to rodents and insects. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Sorry, I think my brain almost imploded just now. If you're sitting there wondering what was racist or untrue about what Trump said, congratulations, you still have a working brain despite the media's best attempts to break it. Before Trump tweeted this out, I thought it was just common knowledge that Baltimore is a crime infested hellhole. Remember the hit HBO show, The Wire? It was all about how Baltimore is a crime infested hellhole. According to the well-known racist ASP Ant, Baltimore is way worse than the show portrayed it, and that was five years ago. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Baltimore, West Baltimore. When, when you watch The Wire, yeah, is that pretty accurate? City go harder than The Wire. Not only that, but many Baltimore residents have come out in support of what Trump said and have been criticizing Cummings for letting this problem fester for 22 years. Despite all of this, the media is currently trying to pull another one of their repeat a lie over and over until it becomes true con jobs. Claiming that Trump was talking about brown and black people when he quite clearly tweeted about rat infestations. Of course, it's plain to see that Trump was talking about rats, but the truth has never stopped CNN or the other DNC media outlets from manufacturing outrage against their political opposition. If you think you're having deja vu about this infestation crap, you're right. They did this once before when Trump called MS-13 gang members an infestation. In the reporting, they removed the context of MS-13 and claimed that he was just talking about immigrants. I've already done several videos on that topic, so once you're done with this one, you should go check those out. Cummings District is a disgusting, rat and rodent infested mess. Infested. That's usually reserved for references to rodents and insects. Right, and as you just read aloud and highlighted, Trump was indeed talking about rats. This is where the Democrat Party propagandist begins his con job. He's going to do a lot of spinning and reference back to other DNC media con jobs that also weren't racist. That's how this con job works. They simply repeat lies over and over and then reference those lies in service of new lies. There's a revolution going on in California. So many sanctuary areas 
want out of this ridiculous crime infested and breeding concept infested he says once again he clearly said crime infested it's an objective description of reality you see what the media and the democrat party are trying to do is make it taboo or even illegal to criticize democrats take a moment and think have you ever seen cnn or other media organizations defend republicans like this no they don't it's a political tactic reserved for their political opposition the president says about congressman cummings district that no human would want to live there. And the Oscar goes to... Are you freaking kidding me? Give this man an Oscar. Folks, this is not journalism. This is acting. Who in the world would take offense by saying that no human being wants to live surrounded by filth and crime? Is this fake journalist aware of any human beings that enjoy living in these conditions outside of drug addicts, drug dealers, and gangsters? Of course not, but this is an act of desperation to generate outrage after the completely failed Mueller hearings. But anyone who took the walk that we took, we took around this neighborhood would not think you're in a wealthy nation. You would think that you were in a third world country. Today, what we're talking about is a community in which half of the people don't have jobs. Talking about a community in which there are hundreds of buildings that are uninhabitable. Well, well, would you look at that? For once, Bernie's right. He's making the exact same criticisms of Baltimore that Trump did, but without any of the outrage. Why? Well, for one, because these criticisms are nothing new. The obvious reason is because Bernie's a Democrat and the media simply doesn't use these tactics against other Democrats. About a year ago, city leaders identified some of the city's most violent neighborhoods. What the hell? Right. We should just take all this down. To target. Ooh, you can smell the rats. Under Baltimore's Violence Reduction Initiative. Ooh, Jesus. Just oh my God, you can smell the dead animals. Strangely, nobody called the Baltimore mayor a racist for saying anything about the rat infestation. As I've been warning for many years now, the media and the Democrats have basically made skin color a shield from criticism. That is, as long as you're on the right side. How could anybody trust a government or a mass media that so cynically uses race to shield powerful politicians from criticism? It's just another symptom of sickness that's been given to this country by ideologues posing as defenders of truth. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It really helps this channel. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also send me a donation on PayPal and I really appreciate it. It. And just a reminder to everybody, I will be at the Trump rally in Cincinnati, Ohio on August 1st. And I do plan on live streaming while I'm there. If you're a Patreon or Subscribestar subscriber, you will get a special exclusive live stream. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.